I think everyone's focus in the upcoming week is going to be on team of the season, but we're still going to get a team of the week release, so let's predict who could be in it. We're going to begin with a goalkeeper, and it is, of course, going to be Leon's Anthony Lopez, who made four saves in a 2-1 win for Leon against Toulouse. Yeah, he didn't keep a clean sheet, but he made some really key stops and also got an eight-match rating from the keep. Our other goalkeeper option this week is De Gregorio, who made six saves and did keep a clean sheet in a 1-0 win for Monza against Inter Milan. Very big result here for Monza, and a clean sheet against Inter Milan is pretty impressive. He also got a 7.5 match rating from Gazetta. All right, let's now talk defenders, and we've actually got some pretty good ones this week, some very notable ones, and we'll begin with Miranda, who, um, who knows, maybe could be a cheap captive here. Anyway, he got himself a goal in Real Betis's 3-1 win against Espanyol. Also got some very good match ratings and man of the match, so we think he's got a chance of getting in this week. Had his team kept the clean sheet, would be more confident, but still, we're going to go for it. Following on from him, we have Jonas Hector, who got an assist in Cologne's 1-1 draw with Mainz. He featured in the kicker team of the week, which is ultimately the reason for our inclusion. And then we have John Stones, who has just been on fire recently. For Manchester City like he has been incredible in this new role that uh, Pep Guardiola has put him in he got a goal in Manchester City's 3-1 win against Leicester another player who got a very good match rating and also scored a really nice goal by the way but yeah once again didn't keep a clean sheet that would have definitely made us more confident in the selection but still we're gonna go for it I've said the word clean sheet way too many times in the past few minutes but I'm going to say it one more time because Nacho Fernandez did indeed keep a clean sheet in Real Madrid's 2-0 win against Cadiz. In this match, he also got himself a goal from a left-back role, so he's one that we can more confidently say should feature. Kevin Campbell is the next player to talk about. He was the star man in Leipzig's 3-2 win against Augsburg. He also got given the kicker player of the week, so it seems a no-brainer for him to be in the upcoming team of the week. A goal and assist for him. Hopefully, we'll see him pick up a nice upgrade for his inform. We've then got Bournemouth's Dominic Solanke, who was the star man in their 3-2 win against Tottenham. One goal, two assists, a nine match rating from Sky should definitely be enough. And by the way, what a game this was. Full of drama, awesome match, and definitely should produce a special item. On the reserves, we should see Jack Marriott. He got himself a hat-trick in a 5-2 win for Fleetwood. We could also see Pellegrino, who got himself a hat-trick in a 4-0 win for his team. Connor Chaplin's another player who got a hat-trick. He got his in a 6, that's right, 6-0 win against Charlton. Ben Hardson, once again, is another player who got a hat-trick. His was in a 5-0 win. And then we have a player who actually didn't score a hat-trick, but he had four goal involvements. Two goals, two assists in a 4-2 victory, so he has to make the bench slash reserves. But now we go back to players who got hat-tricks because Ghana got a hat-trick in a 5-1 win. Joseph Paintsill got two goals and an assist in a 5-2 win for Genk against Anderlecht. Obviously a very big win in the Belgian Pro League. This would be a second in form and honestly, it's starting to look like, you know, a decent card. With the right chem style applied, this item, on face value at least, looks pretty good. Gus Till was the star man in PSV's 3-2 victory. He got two goals and an assist from a midfield role. And then we have Crystal Palace's Eze, who got himself two goals in a 2-0 win for Crystal Palace against Southampton. And Roy Hodgson has seriously got Palace playing. Three games, three wins, nine goals. Impressive stuff. Another player who had a standout performance on the weekend was Aston Villa's Ollie Watkins, who got himself two goals and an assist in their 3-0 win against Newcastle. So, yeah, massive result for Aston Villa. I think people believed that Villa could get a result in this game, but I don't think they expect it to be, you know, so comprehensive. A 3-0 win against Newcastle. Not many teams have scored that many goals against Newcastle, especially as of late. We maybe could see another special item for Griezmann this week. He got two goals in a 2-1 win for Atletico Madrid against Almeria. So, yeah, could be another special card. He's had so many in this year's game. We haven't spoken about a player who got a hat-trick in a while, so let's do exactly that. Mauro Icardi got three goals in Galatasaray's 6-0 win. 
Inaki Williams scored twice in a 2-0 win for Bilbao against Real Sociedad, so that could be an interesting item for sure. And then we have Jeremy Doku, who got two goals in a 3-0 win. And this is another one that could actually be quite a good item if it gets a good notable upgrade. We're going to end this week with a potential one-to-watch boost for Anthony. He got a goal and assist in Manchester United's 2-0 win against Nottingham Forest. He also got some decent match ratings as well. So maybe, just maybe, we'll be seeing that one to watch card get a upgrade. So those are our predictions for Team of the Week 25. Let us know your thoughts on them in the comments down below. Like always, if you want to read a more in-depth explanation on these players and the reason for our inclusions, then check out the link in the description. It will take you to the Footbin website.